Welcome in the create me tutorial. In this video, I'm going to guide you how you can easily create things like these, how we can collaborate with other people, how we can use templates and use for brainstorming and how you can strategize. And then also how you can design systems and flows. It's not really that difficult. And I believe that after finishing this video, you will know exactly how to use it. So the first thing that you want to do, if you want to have 10% off, from Creately, click on the link description and go that way. Now, when you're going to click on the link down below the description, you will get straight away for the pricing plan. What you can do is just start with a free account or go to personal team. That's completely up to you. And let's go and click here, sign up for free. Now, you click sign up for free and you can sign with the Gmail or normal mail. I already own the account, guys, so I'm going to log in and I will show you exactly how to use it. So let me show you. I'm logging in right now and I'm going to show you everything how we can use it. So in the moment when you're going to enter Creately, you will get and you will see the dashboard. On the left side, you're going to see folders. And in folders, what you can do is when you would click on a folder, you can simply create a new workspace. So let's click here, create a new workspace. And now you have option. Now we are in a templates. We were in folders. Now we are in templates. What you can do, you can continue without a template, but what you can do is to choose from the templates that you would use for your project or business, whatever, flow chart, mind map, organization chart, database, timeline, so I can go even like infrastructure, run meetings. So, but let's say that we are going to use the mind map and I will show you how we can use it or flow chart. That's good. Let's click use here. Of course, you can continue right here without a template. So flow chart. And now straight away, when we have the flow chart, I can make it bigger. So it got bigger space. I can align everything in my flowchart. I can group it. I already have it as a group. And then I can change the style here and bring to front if I have multiple things. Now, let me show you the basics here, how you can operate in Creately. When you would go on the bottom right side, you see that you see the select here and pan. You need to always, if you want to move um, like in Creately board, you need to hold space bar and then you can move as much as you want. So that's what you can do. Then you can have zoom out and zoom in by holding control and you're zooming in and you're zooming out. See, this is how you can do it. And again, I hold space bar and I can move as much as I want. So this is really important things to know so you can be more effective. So definitely don't forget it. And of course you can zoom in like this, but I rec really recommend going with zoom and scroll in and scroll out with your mouse wheel. Then you're going to see the undo here and redo. So if I'm going to move this like here, I can undo or redo. Or, and then you're going to see also the shortcuts on the bottom right. Now on the right side, you see the information here. The grid here, you can disable the grid. If you can enable it, you can enable guides add a description, then you see the styles here. Comments that you can add comment and then history, what was actually happening. So that's the bar on the right side. On the top right, you're going to see share. You can start the call or you can share it with other people so you can invite collaborators pretty easily and they can view or edit. So that's how we can invite people here. And then what you can do, you can also export it as a PNG JPEG PDF and you can view it. So that's the last thing I will show you that how we can view everything. Now, when we go on the left side, what we can find here. So we have option to add a text and a line. And then we see the simple shapes here as a square, triangle, right triangle, rounded rectangle, hexagon, pentagon. 
and let's say I'm going to choose the square here and what I have to do is to take it and move it on my board I'm going to click on it and I can simply make it bigger see I can make it bigger and then uh, what I can do let's make it a little bit smaller I can add a text so I can take it type something see so I will click text and I would type something here this is a square of course you can play around it as much as you want and have it like here you can make it bigger smaller and you can edit the text so we can make it bold italic strike through underline change the size of the text and everything you can also add a hyperlink or you can bring it to forward back backward these are the basics but this is pretty much it how you can add a text here so let's make it 20 or even 18 so this is pretty much it how you can do it and then what i can do is to move it now then you can use also line here so what i can do i can when i clicked on line you see that these kind of things appeared here see so i can simply create a line like this and i'm going to connect it to here or to right side now what i can do with a line i can make it curved i can make it angled or smooth angle or straight so you got the options here how we can do it and how we can work with it so these are the angles so let's say that I want to have smooth angled of course you can also edit the text here on it if you want so that's something you can do then what you can do you can change the arrows flip connector see you can flip it so we have the empty and the full arrowhead then you can also change the color of it so let's say that i want to have a red color see so this is how you can simply connect everything with lines or your shapes that you're going to create like let's say your flow chart whatever and that's pretty much it how we can do it now when you have the shapes you can create multiple shapes here what you can do then is when i have the shape here i can again edit the text square i can click on the text and make it bigger see then i can draw a connector and as you can see it's going to automatically create for me that i don't have to press on a line on the top left what i have to do is to click on a draw a connector So draw a connector and I can draw it like here. See? So let's say this would be like this. And here. But I want to have it like this. And I want to have it curved. Or let's say like this. See? And of course I can move it. as much as I want and this is pretty much it how we can do it I really like to operate with the lines but you can draw a connector also there you can change the style here if you want to have it full or empty so that's like completely up to you which one you're gonna choose
So that's how we can do it. And then what I can do next, I can click on it and let's go from shapes to flowchart. So what I can do, I can simply click here, see, and it's automatically going to create flowchart for me. So I don't have to click here for a start end or input out or process. So I can simply move the process here and I can just like choose what's going to be next. But what I can do is to do it also from here, right? I can add a hyperlink, but I can just simply choose. Let's say this would be like this, right? And then I can do it like this, but it's always the shapes are going to create more shapes. What we need to do is to create a flow chart. Let me just create a flow chart for you and you will know exactly what to do. So I'm going to start here. So I'll just take it, paste it. I can make it bigger. Then I would click, of course, everything is the same. You can change the text. You can draw a connector. You can change the style of the colors. And you can add a harp link and then you can bring it to forward, front, back, etc. Now when I'm going to click plus here, I can add, look at this process. I have option to add an input output. And then I have option to add a decision. So let's say that I'm going to add a process here and let's a little bit recreate here. So that's a step one. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to have decision. Let's do this one. I hold space. Then I'm going to have this would be yes and no. So now I will just use draft connector here. And then decision. If it's a no, then it's going to be here. And if it's a yes, then we are going to continue the process. Of course, you got multiple things here, how we can operate with it. Of course, I can change the colors of lines as I showed you, or what I can do, I can add a swim lane here, the document, the documents, and add a hyperlink. So you can really operate and create it as much as you want. And direct data. So again, I take it and paste it. And then what you can do is to uh, add the block shapes. And you can simply browse more shapes. So you see right here. So this is how we can do the basics here. But what you can do, of course, is to browse more shapes. And you can add arrows. See, I'm going to add multiple things here. It's going to open your eyes, right? So look at this. You got everything here. I added arrows. So let's say I want to add an arrow. And I want to add a line from process to arrow. Then I have grids and canvases. So I want to add a chart here. I can do it. So you see multiple things here. That's like completely up to you how much you want to play around with things, but browse more shapes and AWS analytics, compute, cost management. Then yeah, I added everything right now. See that you can use. That's completely up to you what you need to have for your project. But this is pretty much, these are the basics of Creately and how we can actually use it. Now, if you're gonna have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. Creately is an amazing tool that you can use for managing your projects. Definitely my recommendation, use the templates. Like even the, look at this, the infographic here. I could possibly create something like this too. So how to operate with it? That's the question, right? So what we have here, like, let's say that if I would want to create something like this, how would it actually look like? So what do we have here? We have a big square.
we have it like this. So I'm going to like recreate it just, just for the sake of the argument. I want to show you how we can do it. Now, maybe I'll just lost myself a little bit. Okay, it's going to be like square. Like this, then I would have like this, this here. No, not this object, this one. Like this, but the color is full and let's say brown. I don't it's not a brown color, but I'm blind. That's what I am. So let's say that you choose like the color here, which one you want. Oh, here it is. A little bit bigger. This is title here. And now what I could do, I could now the, the fun stuff. What happened here is this. They literally use the labels as mm, just with an arrow. You group it together and then you copy paste it. So what I would do is this. I'm going to take a rectangle, small rectangle. Then I'm going to make it like this. Now I'm going to add a small arrow. And bring to back. Okay. Do you see? Do you see it, guys? And I'm going to change both of the colors. And I'm going to look at this. Group it. Now, when I'm going to move, both are moving. Now, what I can do, I can right click on it, duplicate it. And I'm going to change the color to this one. See, the arrow is a little bit different, but this is how we do it, right? Now again, right click on it, duplicate it. This one and duplicate it again. So this is how we do it. And um, it's really similar. Now what I would just simply add a text here and that's how I'm good to go. Again, this one, the text here is this one, the rectangle. And now what I would do also is now when I would like move this, you see it's not, not everything together. Now this is also not together. See, so this is mistake they did. What I needed to do is to choose everything here and they could group it. So they can duplicate the lock shape and just like align it or group it. Now when I'm going to group it, everything is moving, right? Then you need to ungroup it and that's pretty much it. So if you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in comments. I'll be really happy to help you and provide you some guidance and support. Uh, if you can have just what you need to do on the last time, you need to go to the top right and click view. And then you see how it actually looks like. Then I can click export and export it as a, let's say, PNG. Now I would open it and look how it looks like. And people can move and check it out and see the whole process and the whole project of it. So yeah, thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.